Hi, it's Chris here, and I'm making this video so that you can get a bit of an idea what we get up to on the Tell Me mission, the summer mission. So here we are, gathered together. And you know the benefits of this is, A, that we get to bring the gospel to our Jerusalem in Christchurch, where many people have never heard the true gospel. And also you save money on flights, you get to eat your own food and sleep in your own bed, so it doesn't get much better than that. So what do we do? Well, we gather here first in one of our homes, and we are praying, and then we're going to watch some videos, some instructions, some training, and we're going to go out to the city and we're going to share the gospel. So we want you to get an insight so that if you want to get involved, come along for a day or a half day, you can really get a feel for what we're about and maybe join us. So more to follow. We're here at Cashel Moor. It's a very sunny day and we're just setting up our flip charts and we're going to have a table of resources and we, we get to come here pretty often and there's a lot of people around. It's pedestrianized. And we're in the shade, so that's awesome. Um, we will start off just by giving out tracks and talking to people. There's different ways in which you can be involved. So you can pray, just come and pray while people are sharing the gospel. You can hand out tracks to people, um, just saying, hey, have you got one of these? We're giving these out today. And you can stand alongside and listen to someone sharing the gospel on the flip chart, which is a great way to learn um, how to share the gospel and hear some of the objections. You can just be part of the crowd in doing that or you can eventually, you know, you can get involved on the flip chart. The flip chart is a very easy way of teaching someone to go through the gospel. So there's definitely lots of options uh, to get involved. And we've got young and old as you can see. Young and old. So uh, it'll be a good day. So we're here in Cathedral Square which is a pretty good place as well. Lots of people and um, lots of conversations, particularly the girls over there, they're having a great time. They've had quite a few crowds and Andy is doing some street preaching which is is good because this, the busker's doing their thing and he's doing his street preaching which fits right in but he gets to share the gospel. One of the things that people mistakenly think is that you have to go to other countries to hear uh, to find people that have never heard the gospel so is that true? Let's ask some people in Christchurch whether they've ever heard the gospel before. Yeah. Has anybody in your life ever told you about the Christian message of the gospel that explains how a sinner can be forgiven and go to heaven? Yes or no? No. We're Christians. We're talking to people about the message of the gospel, okay. which is that Jesus came to die so for sinners, Christian? to be forgiven, yeah. so they could go to heaven. I just want to know, has anybody ever told you what that message is? Yes or no? No. Thank you. Has anybody ever in your life told you the Christian message of the gospel? that a sinful person can be forgiven and go to heaven because of what Jesus Christ has done, yes or no? Yes. How about for yourself? No? In your lifetime, has anybody ever told you the Christian gospel about how a sinful person can be forgiven you waste your time, man. and go to heaven? No, all I want to know is has anybody ever no, told you no, that? I haven't. No, no, I'm not interested, right? No, so no one's ever told you that? No. Okay, thank you, I appreciate it. In your lifetime, has anybody ever told you the Christian message of the gospel that a sinful person can be forgiven because of what Jesus did on the cross, saved and go to heaven when they die, yes or no? Has anyone ever explained that message to you? No. Has anybody ever told you in your life the Christian gospel message about how a sinful person can be forgiven because of what Jesus did on the cross and go to heaven when they die, yes or no? No? Yes or no? Yes or no? Uh, no. I um, just wanted to say that I've been, it's been really hard coming out here on Monday and Tuesday, but um, a really awesome thing happened today and I was sharing the gospel with an elderly man. And uh, normally elderly people aren't really very interested, but this man came over and he took a track from me and I started sharing and he claimed to have a bit of a Christian background, but then he claimed that the Dalai Lama and Buddhism was a good thing and so I wasn't sure where he stood, so I asked him if he'd be interested to go through the good person test on the flip chart. And um, as I was going through the Ten Commandments, he sobered and he quietened. And as I got to the, the courtroom scene, and I asked him, "Do you think you'd be innocent or guilty?" And he said, "Well, I'd be guilty." And then I asked him, "Well, if God is good, do you think you would deserve heaven or hell?" And he said, "I'd deserve hell." And then I had the privilege and the honour to share the good news about Jesus Christ with this man and he was hunched over his walking frame, looking up at me intently in my eyes and I was sharing the good news that Jesus had taken the punishment upon himself on the cross so that he could be set free. A tear welled in his eye and it ran down his nose. 
it just makes all those hard times that we go through so worth it. Um, and I'm just, I took, I shared the contact details with with this man, and uh, so he's got my phone number and I've got his, and he lives close to my church. And um, I asked him if he had a Bible, and he does. And I asked him to, to please read it every day and to to not put off repentance and trusting in Jesus. So praise God, may may he be saved. <laughs> We're done for the day. It's been a good day. There has been a bit of antagonism or <laughs> aggression coming our way from people. Um, just hating what we're doing, uh, not the way we're doing it, just they don't like the message that we're bringing. That happens, um, but it's worthwhile coming out. The gospel has been shared with lots of people. Hundreds of tracts have been handed out, so it's very easy to be involved um, in any capacity. So if this has helped to give you a bit of an idea, please come and join in for a day or a half day. It'll be awesome. Love to see you out here. We are weak, but he is strong. Amen.